What is going on everybody? Welcome to another video on Hard Hat Gaming. Uh, if you're new to this channel, you may not know already that this uh, channel, I've played a lot of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. It's like one of my favorite games to play, and I've played a lot of it on this channel. Um, in fact, it, when I started the channel, it originally was Roller Coaster Tycoon only. So, um, this video is, I think, kind of long overdue for me, if I'm honest. But um, this is a video I've been meaning to make for a long time. Um, I'm trying to kind of answer a question that I've seen on the internet quite a bit uh, by people who are maybe newer or don't play the game super often or just don't have the resources to figure out how to do this or the knowledge like I, like me. Um, basically, the question that a lot of people have is like, how do you download custom scenery objects into Roller Coaster Tycoon 2? Now, an amazing thing that the community of Roller Coaster Tycoon people have done is they've created their own objects that you can import into the game and use them in your theme park. So that come that means rides, that means custom paths, it means custom scenery objects, it means everything. You can have custom trees, you can have custom windows, you can have custom paths, anything. And it's actually pretty easy to get them on to your computer, to download them and put them into your game and and get going building with custom scenery stuff and custom objects. So um, I'm on anydesigns.com. There's actually a few sites you can use to download custom objects. I like any designs personally. I think it has the most objects you can get. It has the most stuff. Um, I think RCT Go is another good place if you want to go there. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to get them from anydesigns.com. So if you go to any designs, this is your home page right here. You're going to see this is where you know, you're going to find a bunch of forum posts and a bunch of screenshots and all kinds of stuff. But if you go to RCT2 objects, um, you're going to find this little menu of uh, little thumbnails that don't actually have pictures on them. So basically all of these are individual objects. So this might be a roof piece, this might be a wall piece, this might be a bush. There's no way of knowing until you download it. And I would not recommend downloading these just because to get them to actually work into your game is honestly super hard. Um, in fact, I don't even know how to do this. I've tried downloading these and I can't figure out how to get them into the game. And it's just one of those things that's a lot more trouble than it's worth. However, if you download a workbench, which is in this menu right here on the, on the right side, these are actually very easy to download custom scenery objects. All of these workbenches, I'll, I guess I'll explain what a workbench is. Basically, a workbench in Roller Coaster Tycoon is a, um, a group of scenery objects that someone's already curated, and it's just e and you can just download it, and it's, it's created as a park file. So in Roller Coaster Tycoon, when you save a park in the game, it's saved as an SV6 file, and that's what these are. Is these are SV6 files. You just download this, you open it up in your game, and all the scenery that's inside of it is av immediately available for you to use. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So, um, for this video, I've I've already downloaded this Extreme 97 workbench. Extreme 97 is a user that uh, upload that I guess I think used to upload a different workbench every year, and so I, I think stopped at 2018, but. Um, that's pretty recent. So I actually already own this one, so I'm going to go ahead and just download it. And so you'll have this zip file right here that's downloaded. I promise this is safe to download. As far as I know, this Extreme 97 one is safe to download. So I already own this one, but I'm going to show you how to go ahead and just get into it. So this is a... Um, so you're going to open it up in your downloads folder. And... Uh, so it's going to be an SV6 file. That's actually what we want. So I'm going to take it and actually take it out onto my desktop. Now we don't need new element anymore, so we're going to go ahead and bring that out. There's some videos right here that I'm working on. Um, and you're going to have to find your original save. So if you're using OpenRCT2, um, your original game file or however you downloaded the game. Um, this is my game folder. So this has all of the files that I need to play OpenRCT2. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to two original files, saved games, and this should all be available as long as you downloaded RC, uh, OpenRCT2. And you're just going to drag this into that folder. Now, I'm actually not going to open up the park because I already, I already own it, but I'm going to show you how to go into the game. So once you have that in there, it should be available once you open up the game. So now that that's in there, we're going to open up OpenRCT2, which I just 
I have it. And we're going to go continue playing a save game, use system dialogue window, and then, you know, and then this using this um, this button right here, you can navigate any part of your computer. So if um, so if your save folder is in a different place, like your game folder is in a different place, then you can go navigate on your computer somewhere, go find it. And as soon as you find it, um, you're going to go into it. So RCT2 multiplayer, that's what mine's called. Original file, saved games, Extreme 97 Workbench. So you're going to open it up, and it opens up this park right here. And boom, you have all this scenery right here to work with. So all of this is available. Um, this is all the walls and s these little building blocks and s like uh, different shrubs and trees and stuff and path objects all available for you to use in the object selection menu. So I'm, now that that's downloaded, it's all available for you now. So I'm actually going to go into a different park now. We'll just open up like I just use these little 40 by 40s as templates and then we'll go to object selection up here. And there we go. We have it all available for us to use. So um, I've actually already downloaded it before, but that's how I did it. And now these are all in here. And these are actually a bunch of different, um, a bunch of different workbenches I've downloaded in the past, just to kind of see what's in them. And admittedly, you're only going to need to download one of these, just because they they all have plenty of stuff to work with, and a lot of them even have the same object. So you don't need to download like ten of them. You really only need to download one, maybe two, if you really want to. Um, but that's going to be pretty much it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more Roller Coaster Tycoon videos. But that's going to be it for me, um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.